Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, Prophet Series. Yes, we're going to continue today with Ibrahim salam, in Haran and Egypt. Halilullah. This is already part three of the Ibrahim series. Guys, as always, please let me know in the comment section if you want me to continue with the Ibrahim series. With the Prophet series, inshallah, we're going to continue anyways. However, with the Ibrahim series, I believe we still have one or two parts left. Please let me know in the comment section and I will continue with it. Moreover, guys, if you enjoy the content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with no further ado now, let's have a look. Nobody believed in him except his nephew Lut and they had to leave. They had to flee from the persecution and the oppression True. of their homeland. We they had to give up the land of their birth and the land they were raised up and go and find another land to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and we rescued him and Lut to the land which we have blessed for the mankind. And this here gives us an explanation as well. Many Christian apologists tell the Muslims nowadays, why don't you go to an Islamic country? Point of the story is, if you're able to practice your religion within a non-Muslim country, you can stay in that country. There's absolutely nobody forcing you to leave that country as long as you can freely practice your religion. However, if you're being oppressed, if there's absolutely no possibility for you to practice Islam, yes, then you have to leave the country just like Abraham did for the world and the blessed land is the holy land asha on the way he passed through a land called harwan in asha bismillah alhamdulillah was salatu was salamu ala rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala amma ba'd the people of harwan the weren't idol worshippers the worshipping the sun the sun the worshipping the planets and he was amazed of the worship of his people, Haram. So one day Ibrahim السلام, one day he gathered his people and he said, let us try and worship this Lord of yours. When the night covered and came, Ibrahim السلام, he saw a planet, a star. And he said, Hada Rabbi, his loud voice. this planet is my Lord. A while, a moment later, the star went. So Ibrahim said, where's my Lord? What happened to him? When he saw the moon bright, this is my Lord. Now this moon is huge. This is bigger, brighter, looks nicer. This has to be my Lord. This is my Lord. But then when the moon left, he said, if my Lord doesn't guide me, I will be among the losers. He's telling this to the people, saying, I'm searching. I'm not making up something. I'm asking my Lord to guide me. And then when he saw the sun, very bright and large sun compared to the moon. And now I found my Lord. The sun is my Lord. Look how big it is. It's the biggest one I've seen so far. So this is my Lord. The night came. Right. I said, all oh, my people, can't you get it? Who am I going to worship? One during the day or one during the night? He said, you are people astray. And then finally, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi Yes, yet again, this is so basic, so simple, but at the same time, so extremely profound. And if you have the eyes to see this, you will recognize it right away. What Abraham, Ibrahim is doing here, he's pointing towards celestial objects and tells them, hey, look at the moon, for example. It is active during the night for us. Or the sun, we see it during the day. Is it there for our God? Is the sun our God because it is bigger than the moon? Or is the space, the universe? Verse, our God, like many new ages, will tell you nowadays. No, all of this is just the creation, and Islam proclaims we are not worshipping the creation, we are worshipping the Creator. Salam said, I am indeed free from all that you join as partners in worship with Allah. Exactly. Verily, I have turned my face towards Him who has created the heavens and the earth. Hanifa, Hanifa is on the straight path. And I am not of those who are mushrikeen, the ones who associate other gods with Allah. His people disputed with him. He said, Why should I fear your gods when I have Allah with me? You are the ones who should be afraid. How many people believed in him? No one. Only Sarah. And Ibrahim السلام, married her and they left. And Sarah is what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. She is the most beautiful woman on earth after Hawa. 
ഇബ്രാഹിം അലൈഹി സ്വലാം നൗ മേഡ് ഹിസ് ഹിജ്റ ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ഹർറാൻ സുബാൻ അല്ലാ ഇബ്രാഹിം അലൈഹി സ്വലാം ലിവ് എ ലൈഫ് ഓഫ് ഹിജ്റ സോ ഹി ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹർറാൻ ആൻഡ് ഹി വെൻ ടു ഈജിപ്ത് വെൻ ഹി ഗോ ടു ഈജിപ്ത് ദ ന്യൂസ് വാസ് കാരി ടു ദ കിങ് ഓഫ് ഈജിപ്ത് അറ്റ് ദ ടൈം ദ ദർ ഇസ് എ മാൻ ഹു ഇസ് എ കമ്പനിയിങ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ വുമൺ ദേ ആർ റെഫറിംഗ് ടു സാറാർ അലി അള്ളാഹു അൻഹ ദ കിങ് ഓഫ് ഈജിപ്ത് like to have beautiful women the king said to them as kings do go and ask what the relationship of this man is to her and if he says that he is her husband then kill him and bring hey. the woman to me i want her for myself so they went but along the way jibril alayhi salam had come down to ibrahim first alayhi salam and said to him the situation So Ibrahim I said turn to Sarah and he said to her the following words He said to her you see this land that we are in He said by Allah there isn't a single believer on the face of the earth except for me and you So when these people come to you and if they ask you who am I to you tell them that I am your brother He is her brother in Islam So they came to Sarah radiyallahu anha and said What is your relationship with this man? She said, "He is my brother." They took Sara and they took her to meet the king. And the king want to place his hand on her. She made a dua to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. "Oh Allah, if you know that I have believed in you and your messenger, meaning Ibrahim alayhi salam, and I have guarded my chastity from anyone except to my husband, then do not let this disbeliever have power over me what happened his hand was paralyzed he became a little bit crazy what's happened to me i can't touch her strike me with his legs what's wrong with me and he couldn't touch her and he was going to die so he told her ask your god ask allah to heal me and i will leave you alone sarah was afraid that if he died the people will say that she killed him and then she will be killed so she made a dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to heal him so his hand was moving again He extended it again. He betrayed his word. He didn't keep his promise. Disgusting man. She made a dua another time. His hand was paralyzed another time. He said, "Make a dua for me." She made dua <laughs> for him second time and his hand was released. He tried to grab her for the third time. And the same thing happened to him. And then he said to her, "If you release me the third time, I will let you go and I will be generous to you." So she made the dua and now, truly he did let her go. Good he freed him. her and he said to his soldiers get her away from me. Wallahi this woman is not a human being. She is a shaitana. She is satan or a devil or something. <laughs> get her away from me. She and he devil, also yeah. gave her It's not him trying to grope her no it's her. One of She's the devil. Makes sense. She was a lady a pious good lady with great character. Her name was Hajar. Mm. Alayhi salam. And Sara When the second wife right Ibrahim alayhi salam shall enter the place of Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ibrahim alayhi salam is praying to Allah so Ibrahim will say to Sarah what happened so she said Allah had protected me from the oppressive person so Ibrahim thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and realized that Egypt is not the place to stay what a terror for Ibrahim man staying outside and hoping that nothing will happen to his wife Ibrahim you can only salam, imagine decided to migrate from Egypt and he went to Palestine inshallah we have an appointment with that until we meet again wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina muhammad subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk all right this already it for today's video a very short one nevertheless still extremely profound of course because we have to realize that ibrahim and his wife at that point are the only believers on the planet they're the only muslims and yet again i want to remind my viewers that are not muslims what it actually means to be a muslim a muslim is someone that submits his will to god moreover a muslim is somebody that does not associate any partners with god somebody that prays to god directly without any intercessors they're not praying to jesus they're not praying to mary they're not praying to saints they're not praying to krishna to buddha or anybody else they're simply praying to god they understand that god is 
one and that he is the only one worthy of worship. And at that time, it was only Ibrahim and his wife that believed in this way. Everybody else was idol worshipping ultimately. Everybody else was off the straight path. It was only them. And therefore, Alhamdulillah, his wife got protected, of course, through her dua. I have to say that it must be absolutely nerve-wracking for Abraham to sit outside and wait for his wife to return, not knowing what will happen. Of course, he had major trust in God and he knew that it will be all right. But just imagine yourself waiting outside until the king is finished with your wife. This is, of course, absolutely horrendous just to imagine. And moreover, the kind nature of his wife was absolutely beautiful to see as well because she forgave that king. She gave him three trials without blinking with an eye. She always went back to Allah and prayed. This is truly something we all can learn from. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.